Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play ESWAT City Under Siege for the Genesis and Mega Drive. The Master System version of the game, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the last video, is also called ESWAT City Under Siege, though it plays differently compared to this one. Anyway, in the last video, we made our way through the cyber prison, we beat the boss there, and we also got promoted to ESWAT, which gives us this nice little ice suit, as the game calls it. And we are able to get other weapons, more health, and the burner meter in the upper right hand corner. Double tap C and on the second tap, hold, the, hold C down. From here, you can move around in eight directions with the joystick, with the D-pad, rather. And as you use the joystick to move around, you will run out of energy on the burner meter rather quickly. The burner meter does recharge, as you can see, but it does recharge rather slowly. Another thing you can do is a double jump. If you're holding the direction on the second tap of C, you can move in that direction with the jetpack. So if you want to ju double jump straight up, you can do that. If you want to go up and to the side, you can do that too. If you want to dart forward, you can also do that. Anyway, let us duck walk our way to the right to avoid getting shot here. Take care of the guys above. And we're going to keep duck walking to take care of this thing with the mortar shot. Take care of that and get the plasma cannon. The plasma cannon, when it looks like that, is fully charged up. Once it's fully charged up, bam! That thing goes down in one hit and it's awesome. I also want to take care of this human enemy here to get the rocket launcher. The rocket launcher moves down and forward when it is shot, and it's also our way of getting rid of this little mortar enemy right here. And I also want to use the geography in my favor to take care of the guys coming out from the sides. And that guy too. Now to take care of you. Take care of the enemies here and take care of him to get the super shotgun. This shoots three regular bullets instead of one, and that tank just went down in two shots instead of three. I'm gonna keep it on because, bam, bam, and bam. Assuming I can even hit him. Wanna watch out for the mortar shots? I do not wanna take any damage. Well, not a whole lot anyway. And now, for the fun part. Assuming I can do any of it. I'm gonna off screen that guy. And then I'm gonna get the fire weapon. When you switch to the fire weapon and press B, you will, you will shoot out this screen clearing attack that involved a flamethrower and lots of spinning around, and it uses up the entire burner meter. Once you use fire, however, it goes away, and you'll have to find it again. Also, I want to make sure that I shoot my way around here as quickly as possible, so that way I can get the full health should I need it. Now to mention one more thing. We have all the shots. We have the shot, the regular shot, the super shot, the rocket launcher, the plasma cannon, and the fire. And if, if we have anything other than the regular shot equipped when we die and lose a life, we lose that weapon, we have to find it again. So don't do anything dumb. Be careful from this point on. Now, after the scroll upwards, we need to wait for the boss once the music clears. And I did it wrong. I did it wrong, but I still got it right. Holy cow. And for the fourth mission, 
Attack Mad Scientist. This is going to be an interesting mission, not going to lie. And we can't use our burner here. The game does not let us. So what I was trying to do, you have to be close enough to the boss that it doesn't shoot at you with its own super shot. When the electrical field on its weapon that it shoots at you is as wide as it can be, you have to shoot at it before it launches that attack. If you do it right, it won't be able to launch attack, that attack at all. It'll back up a little bit, and then you'll have to wait for that to happen again before you can shoot it. I got a little impatient, and the attack was launched anyway. And when I was up in the air, the boss was able to shoot this little shot that they could shoot at a 45 degree angle. And it does have a chance of hitting me. Which is not very fun. Nevertheless, I was able to beat it, but now I'm at half health. And yes, I actually have more health. I now have 8 units of health, which is pretty cool. All things considered. But I would like to get it to full. I would like to be able to survive. And had I done it right, I probably would have full health at this point. And the boss would have not been able to fire a single shot. But, well, what can you do? What can you do? Anyway, we are now on the fourth mission of the game. This is where things get a little bit harder. And we're going to tackle it in the next video. So join me next time for Stage 4 of East Swat City Under Siege. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!